All right, guys, in this video, we are going to learn about template reference variables. Now, when there is a user interaction, we might want some data to flow from the view to the class to perform an operation. For example, we may require the value in an input field to perform some validations. So to easily access DOM elements and their properties, Angular provides us with template reference variables. Let's take a look at an example. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Let's say we have an input element. Input type is equal to text and a button next to it that says log. All right, what we want to achieve here is when the user clicks on the button, we should log to the console whatever is the text entered in this input element. For that, first we need to bind to the click event on the button. So add click within parentheses and when the click event is captured, let's call a method log message. Now to this method, we need to pass in the value of the input element as an argument. And the way we do that is using template reference variables. And the syntax is pretty simple. In the opening tag of the element you want a reference to, so the input element, add a hash symbol followed by the variable name. Let's call this my input. Now in the log message method, add a parameter my input dot value. And then in the method definition, we pass in this value as a parameter and then log that value to the console. So log message, a parameter value, and then console.log value. So now if we save this and head over to the browser, I'll fill my name in the text box, Vishwas. And when I click on the log button, you can see that Vishwas is logged to the console. So we are able to get the value from this input element using the template reference variable. And just for understanding, I'm going to pass in the reference itself as the argument instead of the value property. So I'm going to remove dot value and I'm going to pass in the entire reference variable, my input. So now when the browser reloads and I click on log, you can see that input type is equal to text, which is nothing but the input element is logged in the console. So the reference variable can be used to refer to an HTML element and all of its DOM properties. And the way you create a reference variable is using the hash symbol followed by a variable name. Now that's all there is to template reference variables. I'll see you guys in the next video.